Hello everyone, welcome back to AS Biology with Dr. Demi. I am Dr. Demi and in this video I will be taking you through the laboratory skills you need to master for transport in plants. Now this chapter typically forms the basis for your microscopy paper in paper 3 exam. So in your paper 3 exam you will be given one hour each to do two different problem sets. So the first problem is usually a microscopy one or the second one could be microscopy and oftentimes you are asked to draw either an animal cell or a plant cell. It is important that you know how to do these drawings according to CIE standards so that you don't make a mistake or that you don't get wrong marks or no marks at all rather um, for not doing it properly. So I'm just going to take you through it quickly. I don't expect this video to be more than five minutes long. So we have what we call the low plan diagrams. The low plan diagrams are simply diagrams that show an outline of what the image you are looking at is. So if you look at this drawing over here, this round one over here, this is what a low plan diagram of that would look like. First of all, you can see if you look very closely, which I'm sure you can't over here because this image is a bit blurry, but it has a double membrane structure. So over here, what you would draw is you would draw two lines right to show that that is a double membrane and then you can see over here that there are these spaces can you see that those spaces are over there and all you will need to do is to include these spaces into your drawing in terms of these tiny molecules that you can see all the tiny air spaces or cells or whatever it is that they are you do not have to include those in a low plan diagram something else that you need to see here is that when you look at the center you can see that there is an arrangement of cells there and what you then need to do is you also just need to replicate that and simply show the shape of the arrangement again you are not required to fill in anything you are not required to shade anything and you're not required to do what we call sketching in terms of fine art so you have to draw your lines smoothly you have to make sure that everything is the outline like the basic outline is very clear and you're able to show things like the spaces in between but you don't have to fill in all of these details the same applies to this over here now I think this one is a little bit clearer so you can see it so if you look over here can you see that um, oh, I just made an error I'm just going to erase that but if you look here at this you can see that there are two lines indicating a membrane and you can see that, that there seems to be a part here where it closes off and then it starts again you have to replicate that in your drawing so again you draw the two lines you don't need to fill in all the lines that are in between you don't have to do that you simply show show the outline and then over here you can see that there is an image here can you see that you can see this dark image here that's what we have drawn over here and then you also have like a smaller one in the center which is what you've drawn here then you have a different type of cell over here and then you draw that outline here and you can see here this is where um, the the second uh, what's it called now the outer membrane or should we call this the inner membrane is and so you just draw that outline there you can see that for a low plan you also again do not fill in all of these spaces because I find that in the lab when students are new to this they tend to start drawing all of these little cells and all of these things into their plan diagram you do not have to do any of that for a low plan diagram this again is just another example of what a low plan diagram would look like. This would be a high plan diagram. I'm sorry, this is not very clear, but you can see with a high plan diagram, there seems to be more detail, whereas with the low plan diagram, you simply just show the outline. So if, for example, we had this image over here and I took this from the textbook, um, which is the AS and A-level biology course book, if we were to draw this over here, what would it look like? This is simply what it would be. We would have the membranes and we would simply just draw the outlines. Always remember that everywhere you have a different type of cell or different shade in different looks, you have to demarcate that section so that the person marking it is able to see what you have done. 
Something also important to know about the diagrams is that you are often required to be able to label them. So I tell students the only way you can learn how to do this is to master the diagrams that you have in your textbooks because it hardly goes beyond that. Obviously, if you're drawing an animal cell, then you would have to be able to identify things like the nucleus, the mitochondria and things like that. But with the plant cells, it's usually just easier for you to master the diagrams or to study them in the textbook so that you fully know what is what so that you can know for example that the epidermis is a continuous layer outside the cell you can be able to tell the difference between the parenchyma and the collenchyma the endodermis the mesophyll the pericycle and obviously the vascular tissue the vascular tissue refers to your xylem and your phloem and it is always important for you to know which one comes on top and which one goes at the bottom or which one is inside which one's on the inside and which one is on the outside so just make sure you bear that in mind and this again is just to show you um, what it would look like if you were doing a plan diagram as you can see it doesn't go into any detail there's no shading it's simply a drawing of the outline so that the examiner can simply see that you're able to draw an outline of the diagram that is what re is required for your microscopy practical and this is what the mesophyll looks like and that's what a dicotyledonous leaf looks like um, and you can see the different layers so I tell my students when they're studying for this to learn how the layers appear so that when they're given this specimen they know for sure that the first layer of cells would be the epidermis and um, then you have the palisade mesophyll you have the spongy mesophyll and then you have the lower epidermis and that helps students to just really remember and master how to draw this so I thought I'd show you that um, it's a laboratory skill it's something you would have to do in your school um, with your teacher and obviously practice lots of past papers so that you're able to get it right but I hope that this has sort of given you some kind of insight into what to expect um, when you're told to do these drawings so yeah that's it from me for this video if you have any questions again put them in the comments and I will promise to get back to you as soon as possible have a good time goodbye